Hey everybody, I'm Ben. And Nora. And welcome back to the Midwest Model Shop. And in today's episode, we're working on Nora's Batmobile. And that's all I have to say about that. Uh, so it is assembled. Um, wait, why are you leaving me? Just, uh, just the body, say. not all the little bits and pieces. There's still a lot of stuff to um, attach to it and, and get in place. Uh, but the body's together, and I even filled in some big gaps and things on the fins. Is that sure. The, the fins yeah. on the, the big... Bat fins. The big bat, bat fins, fins. The big bat wings on the back of the car. Uh, filled those in. Got to let them dry. I'm sure they're going to need some more filling. And then he had me prime it with this outrageously expensive primer. <laughs> that we're never, ever going to buy again, he's telling me. No, we're not. Um, but it's... It, so I was like, uh, okay, my car's red now. I, I'm just going to go with it. But I, I see why I, I see why the priming is important. Because when you prime it, all these little doodads show themselves all these imperfections so i know i do have to do some more filling and i am probably gonna have to do some more priming after i um buff out some little things there's those um what did you call those little edges um, oh the front edge there's like a it's like a it, there's a little flashing on the front seams of the car so basically yeah so it's we'll, all, it, and those things i would see. never yeah i would never be able to pick those out on my own you know have, doing this for the first time uh, until I actually sprayed it all black and then bleh, I saw all the imperfections. So I'm glad that he's teaching me these things. So I'll be able to remove those um, Yeah, in the next, going forward in the next, yeah, yeah I'll be, that's what I'm going to be working on doing that and then refilling in those big bat wings so they're nice and smooth. Um, and Yeah, so what you're going to see today is she's going to assemble the body of the car the rest of the way, all the major parts. She'll dabble for the first time with the seam filler and starts filling in the seams and they're there and then she'll use primer and you'll see how it's all primed out and then she's going to do her bat facts because you need the facts and that's it so yeah right facts like this is the best batman movie ever the very first one it is true best batman all right ready let's get in the build let's do it okay so what are you doing for everything right now just cutting out all these things that i need so far so good i got my little Fins and my little circular doodad. Looks, uh, looks like a toilet. You got your toilet? Yeah, got the toilet. And then these, whatever these are. They're awesome, cool side Batmobile pieces. And I'm looking for the thing that goes in the middle there, but I'm a little lost when it, the number. All right, we'll dig it up and then we can show putting all that together. They're, what? They're not a golden toilet seat, it's a silver. Oh, yeah, they're like a little potty liner some, yeah. of some kind. But apparently they go inside this doodad. Yeah, we'll we'll dress it all up so it looks good. Okay, what's going on here? I don't know. You told me to use this knife on the back of this thing. So Nora has flashing that she can't seem to get rid of that's sticking up and ruining the cool finish of and lines of her Batmobile. So she's going to go ahead and clean that out. So Tried to use a nail file. Yeah, and it didn't work out. So we're just going to right now focus on getting the parts cleaned up so Does she can go ahead and get things assembled up here. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Let's dry fit it so you can see what people are talking about. She had it in the front there and then there was this funny piece of plastic sticking up over the top that was ruining our cool lines. Like where, boogers. Where you put the Mercedes-Benz emblem. Right. Right. All right, so what are we gonna do? I guess I'm gonna glue this on. <laughs> Am I putting the glue on here or on there or both? I would do both. I would do that front surface there. It's gonna melt it a little bit and a little bit on the back. And this is the instant stuff, so it's gonna set up real quickly. The but, super duper fast drying, blah blah blah. Do I need it down here too? No, no, no. That's just the yeah. No oh, word that's not going to touch. Okay, so then I, this surface right here is what's going to touch. Yeah. Sorry. And people will say that you should dry fit it to see where it it's supposed to go. Yep. Nora's got it dry fitted like twenty five times. <laughs> More than enough. Does it look like it's in where yeah. it's supposed to be? Yeah. It's good to me. 
we'll see. We'll get some more glue on. So we'll get these other parts put together here and then we'll get the body figured out. Now, I don't know where this is touching. I know it's touching there. I guess it is touching there. Yep. So just those two spots? Oh, yep. wait, 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 wait. It's touching there too. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta look. Aha. All right. So do I just dab the glue on all the little touch points and then? Yep. Or you can, or you can put them where you think they touch here, whatever's easier, and then set the piece on. Don't try this at home, folks. Wow, I was way off <laughs> with where I thought the glue was going to go, so I'm glad I put it back down. Yeah, but that looks right. No, it, that's where it so goes. So the other option is just put your finger on it and, and dab each of the seams and let it run in there. All right. Okay, so she, what'd you do? Tell your audience. I tried to figure out where it's actually touching so I can just put the glue there. Okay. That's not an easy feat for me. Believe it or not. All right, nice. Oop, oop. Let's do it in my finger. Yeah. Should I do I press this or no, just, let, just it let it sit? Let it, let it sit. Okay. And then we'll let that glue set up. Not nearly as challenging as those knobs. And then we can go ahead and uh, put a little more reinforcement glue in. Then we'll figure out your your silver toilet seat liners. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this one. Is that one ready? Nope. I mean, yeah. But, I mean, do you want me to glue it now? or? Sure. Okay. Nora's gluing stuff up. Batmobile is a real car. All right. So, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I mean, there's a little spot here in the back or whatever, but, you know. Right. So, what we'll do... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see how the other one fits. About the same. Looks pretty good. It's not terrible. All right, so let's get out some uh, little clamps to hold it together. We'll see how the dry fitting will work. Not the worst I've ever seen. Yeah. It's the only mm -hmm. I've ever seen. All right. All right, so what have you figured out with your um, bat wings? Well, now this entire production has come to a screeching halt because you've given me too many choices for clamping the fins onto the back of the car. So this is it. Now we have to take time out, get lunch, you know. So I think those clamps will be a bit too much, but then if I do that and I do this, voila, then yeah. I have, see, now we're back at square one in my last video where I have a big fat gap. We'll, f we'll fix your big fat gap. Okay. So we just need to get some glue so on these So I think these, these closed pins are going to probably be the best bet because I can clamp one on a C and then another one over here like that. And that'll dry and then we fill in the big fat gaps. Yep. All right. So this is good. So Nora dry fitted, <laughs> put her clamps so on. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and figured out how it's going to go together. So now we can go ahead and apply the glue. So dumb. And I don't know why anybody we'll see the, my Batmobile. We'll put the like clamps back on and it'll work out nice. So let's go ahead and we'll get it all glued up and press on the next thing. Okay, so we've got the model propped propped up on its side so Nora can apply glue to all the main surfaces. And we're using the regular slow Tamiya. There you go extra thin this will give her some time and the whole idea of applying it to both surfaces is it will start to melt the plastic and then when we put the two halves together it'll finish up melting each other now unlike cyanoacrylate or super glue which is just an acrylic that forces the two parts together this actually melts the plastic together long run this is a better a better connection but um, for those of you who don't know, you can't use plastic cement on photo etch. It doesn't melt metal. It only melts plastic. I'm very concerned about getting this on my nails knowing that. I could walk away a real mess. All right. I think that's it. Oops. All right, cool. Ah. Yep. 
It's fine. There's plenty of time to get it set up. It doesn't feel like it. All right. So I would line up the back fin. Sorry, there's no way to show this. Get right. the back lined up and then get your, your paper clip on there or your clothespin. clothespin on there for the back. And then get the front one on. And we'll just let it set up. Now there's a seam if you hold still perfect right there. I'll zoom in. So there's a pretty big seam right there that we're going to have to address. But we'll do big that fat, after yeah. after the glue has set up. And I, I don't know if it's a matching seam on the other side. Should I put glue in we'll, it? We'll figure out. Oh, yeah. Absolutely run some glue down there. It'll totally help. Let's see. All right. Yep, just like that. All right, and then we'll repeat for the other side. I'm gonna press on. This one? Okay. Okay. That's how Nora dumps all the glue on the floor. Up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I, these, they can only go one way because they're kind of like a little egg shaped. Can't mess that up. Yeah. <laughs> and I clean them up. They have little silver boogers around the edges so that they look nice. And I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna put the glue on here and then just drop it in. Why is it not, oh. It's not gonna stick right away. It's... Okay. All right, and just let it be, Pretty right? uneventful, yep. But All right, that's, cool. That was one of the steps. Okay, so now you've got okay. these pieces. I, my fins are dry. I dropped in these two little bad boys. I like them chrome. I know my preferences on this car are not going to be very popular with everybody. I glued in my little grappling hook boxes. That's what they are, right? Yeah, I think so. Yep. And this bad boy right here, I think that's going to support my little bucket with the seats and everything in it. Um, and those things are dry, so I'm not worried about moving it around and handling it. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and glue these on. This has to go up underneath the lip there. Wait, is that right? Yeah, it's kind of tricky. So this... Well, that's upside down. There you go. There's the trouble. That's this one. There you go, that one. Aha. Uh -huh. Like that and like that. Wow. Okay. So... To make this easier, mm -hmm. up here, right there, and do one it. dot there, I think we'll put a dot of CA glue. Okay. And that will hold it enough into place that then For you can come back the, and get the Tamiya the glue. The liquid yeah. stuff. And this is a thing that I do kind of often, is I will tack something into place with the CA glue to just get it on. I think and, you can do that while the camera's rolling. Yeah, this you gotta pop off. Oh. It, it doesn't. This is a it's a gooey mess. Okay. So put um this is the piece, right? Yep. So put a little dab there a little and then dab, a dab there. up yep. on that one, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Here it goes. Don't try this at home, folks. Or do, and let me know if yours is better than mine. Just a little bit. That's plenty. Alright. Okay. So then I should be able to. Can you drum roll? I can't see. I'm trying to hold it for you to see it. And no, you're doing I fine. Go ahead. And, <laughs> just hope, go ahead and get it lined up. I think that leading edge is really important. I think that's in place. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, now, so we've got a little bit of excess CA glue right here. Well, I don't know if that was in the shop, but basically. I just ran this toothpick along here to kind of clean that up, smooth it out a little bit. Actually, All right, that looks good. Like so there. Some, there's still some there from where I'm sitting, and I don't want it to mess up my paint job. It'll be all right. Okay, so I think that's good. It's set up, right? Yep, now I can go ahead and do the... Yeah, now you can go ahead and put your, your Tamiya in there and get the, it... the other edges. Yeah, where there's the, all the positive contact. Okay. All right, and we'll do that for both sides, and then it'll be installed. And then we'll take a quick look at what we got. Okay, so what's the problem with the back of the car? Another problem, another big issue. This, I don't know, what do you call that? That's the jet exhaust. The jet exhaust. Uh, it, the way it sits is slightly below 
the frame of my Batmobile, and that's not cool. No, so what we'll do is we'll add a strip of styrene. Down here. Yeah, along there to bring that little edge down just enough so that it lines up right. So this will be some, some scratch work here, scratch building. That'll be good. All right, let's get some plastic out and do that. So let's get something straight. I have no idea what we're about to do. It'll be fine. So <laughs> I, I don't have a piece of square styrene that's the exact size. So let's just go ahead and set on there and put a little mark here for the width. All right, wait, let me, is that good? Yep, and mark your width. That'll work. All right, and then just snip that off. Uh-oh. Cool. All right, now what we're gonna do, there. we'll do it off camera because it'll take a little bit. We'll thin this down, we'll cut, we'll basically cut it, not in half, but we'll cut like a third of it off so that um, it lays on there. So we got a piece that works right. Okay, so we figured out how wide we want it and marked it off and now Nora's just gonna work her way through scoring it slowly uh, so we get the piece we need. When you use a, um, big piece of styrene like this and you try and cut it all at once it just curls on you and it's a big problem so working your way through with successive cuts will get you the piece that you want so you just keep doing this till you work your way all the way through i'm glad you stopped me because i certainly would have just tried to cut all the way through yeah <laughs> in one go yeah well there's a reason i know what happens patience is not my forte okay so after nora got her initial uh edge cut in there we switched to a uh, scribing tool because this is a pretty thick piece of plastic and it's actually removing the plastic versus um scribing it or uh scoring, scoring it. it yeah and, and trying to cut away so as you can see you see the extra plastic there so it's, it's making closer to a 90 degree cut and it and it works out really well so a few more passes here she'll have her piece we'll glue it on okay all right, so Nora got her piece cut. We'll just apply some glue. Mm -hmm. Voila. Yeah, we'll just hold it there and let it set up. We'll sand it a little bit. We don't want to add too much height to the back here because this is a low sitting car, but there was room for some improvement there to make this look a little better. Cool. All right, we'll let that dry up. All right, so how did we get the canopy to where it was at? Okay, so we were doing another test fit with the little bucket of seats and everything that I've already done, and we went ahead and put the canopy on, and it, it's just sitting right now. But when the bucket is pressed up against the car where it will be glued in place, this doesn't look bad, I don't think. I, I think it looks normal because this actually lifts and slides forward. And I, this is my opinion. I feel like if we go ahead and fill that in and smooth it all out and paint it, it's going to look like the car is sealed shut. <laughs> right. So we're talking about that seam right there. Yeah. And, and if we do lift the car off. You can totally see it. But you when can you, see the gap. Right. But it's it doesn't look that bad. So what we're going to do now is just put some glue on the canopy we're going to glue it into position because that'll help us paint all of this now um, and it's not going to interfere with installing the tub later but to get this into position we did take the cockpit like Nora was saying and we fit it into position up underneath up underneath yep. and then we used that as a reference to pop this into place to get some glue on and it. I think it looks totally normal so not knowing what I know now because <laughs> Back then, I was a noob one video ago. Right. Um, now an expert. Right. Uh, I'm looking at it, like I said, and I really think that when the bucket is in place, my seats, when that's all in there and it is in place, I think it looks perfectly normal that there's space like that and it's going to look fine when it's painted. Yep. Now, we do, we will be addressing the seams here in the back. We're going to have to try and do something about those. But we'll let that set up and yeah we'll do the next part i think we're pretty much almost at a good stopping point here okay so nora basically has the car all assembled so the biggest seam area though is right back here in these fins yeah can we talk about this <laughs> uh, 
I mean, if you want to. All right. So we added that piece of styrene, like we showed in the last clip, and just sh I just shaped it a little bit and did the glue and brought it down a little bit so it wasn't sitting quite so high. It may have to come down some more, but now this little exhaust, whatever you called it, is not hanging past the body of the car. Yep. And I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I think it looks really cool. Yeah, I think when it's all painted up, no one's even going to know that we did that. It nope. matches the body lines. Kind of proud of that. Good. Okay. Uh, so right there, you can see clearly in the shot, there's some big seams right there in the fin. So Nora's going to start out with some of this plastic putty. Um, no idea what I'm doing. She's I'm never doing. done this before. This is this. So how much do I? Uh, once it starts coming out, it'll be okay. The stuff in the nozzle is probably a little bit dry. That's that's probably plenty to start with. Okay. And then we took this uh, stick, because I don't have any real tools, <laughs> and put a little nice bevel on it. I use my finger. Okay. Nora's fingers are nicer. And we're going to see if we can't slowly fill in uh, the seams. Use my finger. I don't like this. Yeah, I know. This the finger's is way better. I feel like those it. are the baby noises over here. Whoop! <laughs> it's a pretty baby. It's a pretty baby. She's like, oh no, I'm so not ready. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. And the excess of this I'm stuff when it dries, it, it sands off. See. Yeah, no, we got it in the shots doing okay. good. The excess sands off real easily, and then... Um, but I'm going to try to... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like grout. Yep. This is like grouting. Why didn't you just tell me that? That's something I can do. All right. This stuff is not the bestest for your skin, uh, but limited exposure here. Oh yeah, that's real nice. So what we're going to do is eventually get the car, we'll, we'll get some primer on it, and we'll see how this is all dried up. Oh yeah, real nice. We just oh, gotta get those. I guess the next seam there. I don't yeah. think I was supposed to. But. Yeah, we want to get all that cleaned out of there. All right, so we'll just keep doing. Nora's doing a killer job here. We'll do this on the other side, and uh, yeah, press on. All right, show them what you did there. Nora got her first. Yeah, it seamless. is a mess, um, but I totally get it, and I, I wet it a little bit. I was like, oh, if you wet this, it'll be much more workable, and it was. I just did like a little dab of water, and kind of ran it back and forth. And then I rubbed off all the excess and dry stuff, but I totally get what we were trying to do there now, and I think it's gonna work great and look really good. I can feel the seams, but I guess we're not really gonna know until it's painted. Uh, but at least I know what to do to fill them in. Yep, we'll get we'll get some primer on there after it's dried and take a good look at the whole thing and see where we're at. So. Yeah, let's tidy up a couple more things, and I think we can wrap it up by uh, getting some primer on it, and then yeah. We'll call it good. Okay, Nora's got her Tamiya, Tamiya surface primer. Tomato, tomato. Fine surface primer, it's red. We've got our ventilation going here, and we're gonna go ahead and get it primed. And now for a bat fact. The Batmobile comes with its own manual. In the manual, it states that the Batmobile has up to 10,000 horsepower. This is more than a Honda Civic and Formula One car combined. You can also buy the manual online on Amazon. It contains illustrations and diagrams of all models of the Batmobile and its functions. Well, that thing really works. Yes, it does really work. <laughs> I do not know the name and manufacturer of my little air booth, but it moves a tremendous amount of air because, yes, fumes are a concern. You might need to stand up and get a little further away, so you're not blasting it. So it's you're not blasting too it. much on yeah. the Yeah, yeah. Shoot from like a foot away. Here, not, not that. Far. This, way. this is the red Batmobile, the new version. Yeah, this is freaking me out. Really, seeing it like this. Typically we do a nice start to finish pass. There you go. You, you like you you come across and end and then come across don't don't do the waves so much. 
And maybe I like the wave. It's possible. Then we gotta get the inside. So get the inside of that thing. There we go. And then you can spin around and do that one also. This is a flat finish, but you can see it's a little glossy, and that's because there's a little bit more paint in those spots than others. All right, so then I would do, I would come across, 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 straight down on it to get the top. There you go. Okay, let's get a little more on the roof. Alright, so now we're just looking to make sure it's covered everywhere evenly. Let's go back here and turn it like this and let's get that thin. It's just not got a lot on it. Alright, so now you can even see your uh, seam. Maybe you were working on filling in right there. It's going to need more love. Hey, hey, oh, but oh. we'll get to that, and that's the whole point of putting the surface primer on, too, so we can see where we're at with things. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right, this is Nora's first time priming her Batmobile. What do you think? I don't know. It's red. All right. I think that's going to wrap up this episode. And when we come back, this will be dried, and we'll work on uh, filling in our seams the rest of the way. And then uh, getting the rest of the paint on, the black. That's what we really want. All right. Ciao for now. I have a grappling hook. Yeah. Yep. So I can grapple. Now I have to beat that. What? You said the F word. Oh, I forgot this is still going. Yeah. And that's not. Way to go, O'Reilly. Your mm -hmm. mom doesn't like it when I put the camera on her face. Like the. Like a. What do they call those alien things? A face sucker? What do you Except call that's not what it looks like. Face hugger. <laughs> face sucker. <laughs> Let's talk while I drink like a big There you go. Yeah. <laughs>